2020's coronavirus crisis will only prove the value of Bitcoin and crypto. Since the $10,500 high seen in mid-February, the price of Bitcoin has cratered by 36%, posting similar losses to markets like American equities and commodities, namely oil. What's worrying is that a V-shaped economic recovery that optimists were hoping for is believed to be unlikely to happen, consumer spending, especially spending on discretionary items, is likely to be much lower, even on the recovery, while it seems that the world has seen its worst unemployment shock since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Put shortly, the economy could soon be the weakest it has been in decades. But, that's where crypto begins to deviate from the rest of the economy, according to a number of prominent investors and analysts, the fundamentals and intrinsic value of cryptocurrencies are only being strengthened by this crisis, despite the waning prices of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital currencies. This ongoing crisis could help crypto dramatically, says top investor in a recent Twitter thread, placeholder ventures partner Chris Bernisk, the analyst who coined the term, crypto assets, recently remarked that this crisis will pass, and crypto's fundamentals will have strengthened through it. Bernisk highlighted how, new technologies rise as old systems break, and often it takes a crisis to reveal the flaws of the old system in full. Galaxy Digital CEO Michael Novogratz followed suit. In an interview with CNBC Tuesday, he explained that this is the time for Bitcoin, citing the unprecedented, what some call, broken, monetary and fiscal policy response to the crisis. Indeed, on March 24, Larry Kudlow, advisor to the White House, remarked in an official press conference that the coronavirus stimulus package is likely to exceed $6 trillion, a sum as large as 30% of the United States' entire GDP, 900 million BTC, or enough money for $850 for every human being. The expectation amongst some investors is that this will cause a strong bout of inflation that will boost the value for scarce and decentralized assets, including cryptocurrencies. More downside still possible notably, while Bernisk seems to be more fundamentally bullish on cryptocurrencies than ever before, he is open to the idea that Bitcoin will see some further downside, despite already falling to the $3,000 S on the March 12th capitulation event. Per previous reports from Crypto Slate, the venture capitalist remarked in a recent analysis that there's a good likelihood BTC revisits $3,000, citing the fact that the crypto lost the key capitulation level of the 200-week simple moving average and global assets seem to be on a downward slope. Lots of people asking where BTC bottoms. The short of it is I wouldn't be surprised to see a retest of our 2018 lows near $3,000.